piece, y'all. There's a lot of conversation lately about main character energy, treating yourself like the main character of your own story, which I completely agree with. I support. However, I think there is a more powerful position that we can take, and that is author energy. I'm a writer, so I'm partial, especially as someone who writes plays, because playwrights have the ability to put words into characters' mouths to tell stories that are able to be witnessed firsthand in person. A playwright has the power. A playwright writes the story. Of course, you know, for those of us who have faith, God is the author. But if we live with the power of God inside us, then we are also authors. The way we can be authors is by how we synthesize and speak about our experiences. It's really important. My son had a bad fall last week. Fell on the stairs, got a gash on his mouth. It was bleeding. And it sucked because it was the Friday before first day of school on Monday. So Sunday night, he was pretty bummed out. He was just like, uh, you know, like he had to go to school with stitches on his face. I feel for him, right? But I let him know that you can choose your experience tomorrow. You can choose to be self-conscious. You could choose to feel like there's something wrong on my face that everyone's going to judge me for or be embarrassed about it. Or you could stop and think, wow, I didn't know I was that strong. I got stitches in my face and I did not cry. I proved that I'm stronger than I ever thought I was. Dope. Also, how cool is it that when I fell, both my parents were home, that they were able to take me to urgent care and pay the $50 copay. My doctor was amazing and these stitches are going to be healed and I could take them out in a week. Same circumstances, but different story depending on the author. We have the power to write our stories as a tragedy or to write our stories in such a way where we are always the victim, where people are always manipulating, getting over on us. Or we could write our story in such a way where it's, I'm becoming more aware of how humans work. I'm becoming more aware of the tactics that people use to manipulate. Two different things, right? It's either I'm the victim and this person is trying to manipulate me or my awareness is growing, which means that as a person, I'm growing and my power is growing. Y'all understand what I mean? Yes, main character energy is great, but be the author, baby. Be the author of your life. God is the author and finisher of our faith, but we are the author of our daily experiences. The daily experiences that I write for myself, all about blessings, all about gratitude. I turn complaints into gratitude and not in the way of it could always be worse or comparing myself to somebody in a worse situation, but evaluating what is good about that situation. What did I learn about myself? Because learning about oneself is always a success. Growing in one's awareness is always a win. Let me know if you are an author of your life or if you're a character, a main character. Hopefully you ain't treating yourself like the victim because been there, done that, got the t-shirt. That shit is lame. <laughs> but yeah, I hope everybody is well. Have a beautiful day. Take care. Bye.